Hey guys, Chad back with uh, the third installment of the collection, Dark Shadows. And uh, if you haven't seen the first two videos, go back. Um, I've been posting like one a week, uh, so you guys can catch up on this. Um, difference from my original earlier collection videos is that Dark Shadows has so much to talk about, I've broken it up into several videos. So. Um, if you want to see what else I like, go back to the beginning and you can check out the Danny Roebuck, you can check out that thing you do uh, video and so forth on down the line to uh, Bruce Willis, etc. Anyway, Dark Shadows, um, again, it, it was a daytime soap opera, uh, had like a horror scariness to it uh, that was uh, really never accomplished again, uh, even though other soap operas tried to have that element in it. Dark Shadows was the originer, originator of that. Um, so this uh, video I want to talk about, <coughs> excuse me, my uh, Dark Shadows autographs. Um, I really never started collecting autographs. I maybe had a few autographs when I was uh, very young from, you know, baseball, hockey players, things like that, going to games and whatnot. Um, but I never was a big autographs uh, seeker until I went to my first Dark Shadows uh, festival uh, that they had. Uh, they used to have like one a year. And they would get, you know, somewhere between 10 and 20 of the stars from the show. Even if they'd only been in a couple, video, uh, couple episodes, they would get them to come and sign autographs and talk about being on the show and so forth. And... Uh, you know, it launched uh, several careers. Uh, Kate Jackson, David Selby, Johnny Carlin, who won a daytime, uh, or won an Emmy, I should say, not a daytime Emmy, but uh, for Cagney and Lacey. Uh, you know, so there, there was quite a, quite a few celebrities that are well known and not so well known. But uh, when I first got going to my uh, first few Dark Shadows festivals, uh, the f celebrities would sign free your your program that you got uh, for going and uh, if you wanted to get like an 8x10 you could uh, so I started doing that uh, there was over 320 actors actresses and that is from like stand-ins extras uh, to all the way to Jonathan Frid who was in the most episodes and I have attempted uh, to collect uh, as many as I can and I and I believe I have somewhere over 120 uh, maybe even a little bit more now original actors autographs and and some of these are really hard to get because um, the actors are you know starting to die off unfortunately I mean the show is over 50 years old and there's really not too many of them that will that are still alive uh, and that can do public appearances. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you, uh, of course, I have many of Jonathan, who was the main star uh, of the show. Um, I got to meet Jonathan several times, and I'm going to scan through some of these as we go a little bit further into the thing. Uh, Alexander Mulkey, who had a big part in the show in the original uh, Nancy Barrett being all sexy there, uh, Louis Edmonds, Catherine Lee Scott, who has done uh, a lot to keep Dark Shadows alive. Um, she lives in uh, Beverly Hills, California. She has her own publishing company, and she has done tons and tons of public appearances. Uh, David Selby, uh, Laura Parker, um, they're also still very much involved with the show. And... Uh, getting people to jump on the bandwagon. I have quite quite a few autographs from them. I did get John Carlin's autographs. Now, now my, I didn't show my festival program booklets. Uh, they're kind of um, delicate because they're so old, um, but I, I have most of them signed as well. Some of the actors I've had to get through other sources. Uh, Joel Crothers was a big actor back then. Roger Davis, who was probably more well known for like Alias Smith and Joan, um, he was married to um, Jacqueline uh, Smith, who was 
one of Charlie's Angels, Chris Panic, uh, Jerry Lacey, uh, and again, you might not know some of these names, Mitch Ryan, David Ford, Humber Allen Estrado, um, here's a Don Briscoe. I've gotten some of these, most of these are in-person autographs. Denise Nickerson, who was in the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory original uh, kid there. Dennis Patrick, who had been in everything. Diana Malay, Terry Crawford, Marie Wallace. Um, and again, I have met most of these folks. There's Michael Stroka, Kathy Cody, Anthony George. Uh, Someone who's very near and dear to me is Sharon Smith, S-M-Y-T-H. Uh, she has her own website. Uh, played a little Sarah on the show. Addison Powell, Donna Wandry. Again, I'm going to go, because now we're getting out of the, the big hitters. Uh, but I've got quite a, a bit of autographs from the show. And this, believe it or not, is as I'm thumbing through, some of these I've had to get through, you know, secondary sources, and I have little notes in here and stuff, and I apologize for that, but uh, when you're collecting and you need to know what you have and getting certificate of authenticity and things like that, uh, being an autograph collector, you really have to know what you're doing um, to not get taken on some of these things. Uh, I've also gotten some through the mail autographs from some of these uh, celebrities. Um, one of the rare one was Tom Happer, who uh, supposedly never would wanted anything to do with Dark Shadows after it was over. Uh, Abe Vigoda, <laughs> you might. Conrad Bain from Different Strokes was in the show. The, a lot of these guys had very, very bit parts, but um, as the show progresses, I have just gotten tons and tons of these. And again, when you're dealing on the secondary market, um, it, it's kind of hard to, to do all that. I was just trying to see if there's anybody else a real noteworthy of that, but um, we're getting like down to the nitty gritty. Um, I even have some of the production people uh, in the back. Bob Cover, who did the music. Henry Plymick, who was an audio. Uh, Nick Besnick, Malcolm Armistein, who wrote for the show. Um, I do have my uh, House and Night of Dark Shadow autographs in here as well. Um, Chip Coffey, who was uh, an extra and who doesn't act anymore, uh, was, uh, now I'm trying to remember her name, but she played Sarah Castle in... Uh, Night of Dark Shadows, Monica Rich Kozan, who is a photographer and um, jewelry maker now. She has her own website. Um, she doesn't sign. I uh, was able to get her to do this for us. And um, so uh, I have well, well, well over 120 original autographs. The second show. Uh, 91 series. There was 41 actors in it. I think I have somewhere around 20, including uh, a Ben Cross, which he just just passed away. Jim Fike and I are friends. Roy Thinnis, who was in the original Invaders. Uh, got several of his. Barbara Steele. Gene Simmons, who was... Um, now, Juliana McCarthy had been in soap operas for years and years and years, and she was in that one. Michael Weiss, who was the Tender. He'd been in tons of other stuff. Ellie Pouget, um, Stephen Garish, who was an older actor. Um, boy, just on and on. Steve Fletcher, daytime uh, actor, and Rebecca Staub, who'd been. There's Adrian Paul, who a lot of people know as Highlander. Uh, Wayne Tippett, who's been in other stuff. I just saw him in an episode of Wise Guy the other night. I forgot he was in there. Apollo Dukakis, who is Olympia Dukakis' brother. Um, so I've gotten quite a bit of the 91 uh, series as well. I'm trying to get all 41 actors 
I uh, don't know if I'll ever do it, but um, there that goes. Um, I've even gone ahead and gotten the 2004 pilot. There was only 13 actors in here. I do have Alec Newman's autograph twice uh, on trading cards. Uh, not met him personally. Did meet Kelly Who, and um, even went a step further and have met some from the Johnny Depp movie. Um, Helen Bonham Carter, uh, Jackie Earl Haley, and if you guys didn't know, one of the original Dracula guys was in the Johnny Depp movie, uh, Christopher Lee. He, he was in the show. Um, so that is my autograph collection of Dark Shadows. Um, again, I have other things that are actually framed or posters and so forth. So um, they're not all right here. I apologize. I can't show them all to you. and may do that eventually when uh, we finally get our man cave finished and things hung up, I'll show you some other stuff. I may recap all my uh, collection videos again to give you guys updates on things, but I did want to share this with you um, and how much I love autographs and uh, of music, music people and of the things I really enjoy. I, I really enjoy getting autographs. So, um, so that's it. Um, you know, um, as far as Dark Shadows goes, uh, I know you probably have tons of questions, so feel free to uh, email me. I'll put that in the description. Please like and subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, also check out my eBay account under MOZ1963. I have Dark Shadows cards there. I have DVDs. I have tons of stuff, baseball cards, uh, hockey cards, whatever I can get my hands on that you guys might be interested in. Uh, so love to hear from you and I hope you've enjoyed the series I'm sure you have tons and tons of questions about the show but it's kind of hard to explain the show in a brief synopsis so I just wanted to tell you how much memorabilia and stuff was to collect um, and how hard it is to do so and um, I pretty much have spent my whole adult life collecting this so glad I could share it with you guys I hope you've enjoyed this a uh, little Dark Shadows mini series that I've done, and I hope you uh, have a great week, okay? God bless everybody.